Sicat, in Passione, Domine Deus, Agnus Dei et Filius Patris, Domine Domine Agnus Dei, Benedicimus Gracias a Dios, Tibi Protar Magna, Men Gloria Stua, et Filius Patris, Benedicimus Gracias a Dios, Tibi Protar Magna, Men Gloria Stua, Glorificamos y Erectificamos, Domine 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 Agnus Dei, Benedicimus, gracias a Gimus TV, Propter Magnum et Gloria. Found Willie Sol. Hello, Pulov. So they got Willie Sol as well. It looks like a professional job. Sega tells me that this is someone you were after. Hmm? Yep. Sol was almost our last hope of a lead to Sherman. Sherman again? Mm-hmm. Sherman's behind most things in the drug world these days. Including this, you think? 100%. Kaufman and Reinhardt, if you remember, were killed in exactly the same way. Just when we were looking for them. What? Oh, the commissioner's here. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Didn't you tell me Willie Zorn was the one man who might talk? Yes, and I was right. He phoned me at home tonight and said he wanted to see me. I was waiting for him when the news came about this. Waiting for him? Why didn't you go out and grab him? With all due respect, sir, I could hardly have known this would happen. With all due respect to you, Bulov, you had every reason to expect just this. Very well, sir. I wish you better luck next time. Let's go. 
Good night. Good night, sir. Uh, there's one lead, sir. A man from the beer house down the road says Zoll had a drink there tonight. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah. Just a moment. Who's he phoning now? Who do you think? His wife, of course. You've come home finally. I rang you. Why didn't you answer? What? Oh, I suppose I was asleep. Asleep? With the phone ringing in your ear? So I wasn't asleep. Maybe I let it ring on purpose just to make him mad. Or maybe I was out with a lover. Isn't that what you think? Go on, say it. I'm used to it by now. I want to ask you a very frank question. What is wrong with you? What do you mean? I mean, what is wrong with you? Is it personal? Full of what the devil is eating you? Please. Please. Are you listening? I say, are you listening to me? Yes, I, I'm listening. Look here, Bulov. The Shurman case has got to be solved urgently. And you are head of the narcotics division. It all depends on you. If you're not well... But... I'm perfectly well. All right. So I expect. In fact, I demand results. And quickly. Well, it's easy to say that. We're doing all we can. It isn't enough. This town has got turned into a key center of the drug traffic. At the ministry, they consider Shoreman an international scandal. And in all this time, we don't even know whether we're dealing with a man or a thing. One brain or an organization. You're doing all you can, are you? But Willie Zoll phones you up and says he wants to talk. The only man 
who can really tell us what we want to know. And you, just sit and wait. If you'd moved, dear old Bulov, you'd have had Willie Zoll here this morning. Your wife. My wife was cleared by the investigation, completely cleared. Otherwise, I'd never have married her. I know, but... But nothing! Will you excuse me, sir? I have something important to attend to. We are viewing last night's roundup in room A, sir. Want to see them? Yep. seen him around for a long time. Kruger, you start on him. And don't be too polite, understand? Where'd you get her? We picked her up at the roulette tables in Fritz's at three this morning. I want to talk to her. Morning, Bulov. Oh, hello, Master. You want to see me? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to go with you. Get everything on tape. From the direction of the wound, I would say the killer's a tall man. Pretty strong, to judge by the bruise left by the knife hilt. And that's just about all we've got to go on. No fingerprints, nothing. How about the knife? Mass produced, like the raincoat and the gloves. Cheap stuff anyone can pick up in a chain store. What about the beer house? You followed up on Matt Seeger, didn't you? Yes, sir. We searched the beer house dry and got exactly nowhere. The owner says Willie's all came in about half past ten and had a couple of drinks. He seemed a bit nervous, but no one spoke to him. No one came near him. It was eleven o'clock when he left, and... Something wrong? Huh? No, no, nothing, no. Sorry, Mansfield. Where were we? It was 11 o'clock when Zoll left the beer house, Inspector. Excuse what me. What is it? You wanted to see that girl? Yeah. Any luck with Strauss? Nothing, sir. Well, we seem to have drawn them back all around. Seems so for the moment. Bring the girl in, will you? Let me know, sir, if anything crops up. I'll keep in touch. What's your name? Marianne. Marianne Lomar. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen? And you take drugs? No. Then what were you doing at Fritz's Roulette? Nothing. Nothing? You weren't gambling? No. Who were you with? Nobody. Looking for customers, eh? No, I swear. So you weren't gambling, you weren't getting fixed, and you weren't looking for customers. But there you were, all alone, at three o'clock in the morning, doing nothing. Who sent you there? Nobody. Nobody sent me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Somebody sent you to see Fritz, to fetch something. Now, who was it? You better tell me, you know. Right? Tell me this. What time did you arrive at Fritz's? About 
About half past two. Segan? Yes, sir. What time was the murder? Just after 11. 2.15, eh? Yes, that fits. I've got the girl here now. Says she arrived at Fritz's at 2.30. Huh? Oh, yes, I got it. No, 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 no alibi at all. No, she just refuses to talk. Hmm, looks like I have to charge her. Come on in, will you? I don't know what you're talking about. There's been a murder, Marianne. A murder? Yeah. And you know, when we ask people questions and they don't answer, we get suspicious. And you've no alibi for a quarter past two. But I... Now, unless you can tell me where you were at a quarter past two, you're going to be... I was at Ursula's. Now, who's Ursula? Ursula Stein, a friend of mine. Will she confirm that? Of course. Ursula Stein, huh? Address? Sonnenstrasse 23. When did you leave there? I don't know. About half past two. Did you go straight to Fritz's? Yes. Because Ursula asked you to. Yes. No, 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 she didn't. Yes, she did. Why? Oh, God, I don't want to get Ursula into trouble. Does Ursula use the drugs herself? So she wanted the stuff for someone else, hmm? A man? Her boyfriend? <laughs> all right, Marianne, all right. Now then, what's Ursula's boyfriend's name? Kurt. Kurt Muller. Why didn't he go to Fritz's himself? He can't. They're after him. Who's they? Sherman? Then why didn't Ursula go? They know her. They don't know me. He must have needed that stuff pretty badly to send you to Fritz's at 3 o'clock in the morning. Where is he now? He's hiding at Ursula. Why doesn't he come to us? He's too scared. You don't know what they're like. And anyway, maybe he's done something bad. They, they used to make him, see? He's hooked on that stuff. Cocaine? So he couldn't say no. Oh, God. Oh, God, they'll kill me for this. <laughs> Don't worry. For the time being, we're going to keep you here. I, I'm under arrest? No, no. Not now you've explained things to us. But you'll be safer here. No. No. Your wife is here. Here? Hello. Hello. May I come in? Uh, yes, yes. Come in. Kruger. Please, come with me. Well, aren't you happy to see me? Of course I'm happy to see you. Listen, darling, I need some money. I feel like buying something wildly extravagant. How much? <laughs> That'll do, thank you. Lisa. Hmm? I tried to call you. You were out. Of course. I was on my way here. Where are you going now? To spend your money. First of all, I want to buy a walkie-talkie so you can keep track of me wherever I go. Jealous. <laughs> Come in. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Bula. Hello. Kurt Muller, Ursula Stein. Excuse me. Something to work on at last. Work, work, that's all you do. Lisa, look, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. All right. I have things to do, too. Lisa. Goodbye, darling. Kurt Muller. Here's somebody who can tell us something. He's hiding out for the moment at Sonnenstrasse 23 with his girlfriend, Ursula Stein. <laughs> Where's he gone? I don't know. Liar. He said, where is he? Out with it. I don't know. You don't know where your own boyfriend I is? I don't see him anymore. 
All right, you bitch, you're coming with us. Move! take him too. It was only the girl. The woman downstairs saw her being dragged out to a car by three thugs. Miller must have got away. I'd just like to know how it is that every time I start looking for somebody, they get there first. Damn it, Seagat! Nobody knew about this but you and me! It was probably a coincidence. There have been too many damn coincidences lately. Listen, Seagat. We've got to find Muller before they do. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Uh, you want the latest news? Yeah. But not that sort. Sorry, no change. Never mind. <laughs> what do you want to know, Inspector? Where to find a man called Muller. Muller? Kurt Muller. Take the money, I don't want it. Anything else? There was one thing I wanted to tell you. Weird, really strange. Yeah. Tulips mean anything to you, sir? Tulips? Could be that it was only a stupid little joke, but I don't let anything go. Last week or so, I heard a lot about flowers. Tulips, yeah? I don't know, but that's the story on the street. Well, there's not much to go on. Try and find out some more and let me know, OK? You know me, Inspector. See you. Mm. Not gonna count it? No, I trust you. Now let's shake hands and call it quits. I'm buying myself a very expensive plane ticket in the morning. Hey, wait, they got one more job to be done. Oh, no. Not for me. Three jobs is plenty, as far as I'm concerned. One more, one less. What's the difference? How often do you think a man can get away with murder? I've been lucky. I want to stay lucky. You don't understand, Max. There isn't much choice. What do you mean? You want to go away... not tomorrow. Go the day after tomorrow. Take my advice. You want to be around to catch that plane? Well, then do what I tell you. Want it?
Who is it? His name is Kurt Muller. Lisa. Lisa? Darling, I called the office, but you were not there. I have gone to supper at Alster Cavillon with a school friend of mine. Love, Lisa. Good evening, sir. May I help you? Would you like a table? No, thank you. Very well, sir. Do you happen to have seen a young lady wearing a white coat? Yes. Yes, beautiful. She came in, looked around, then she went out, got back into her car and drove away. The car? Yes, sir. A beautiful red Porsche. Thanks. Tell you that Muller is a fool. Yes. Now you can't come here. We're being watched. Who by? By everyone. Yes, I understand. Okay, listen to me. Go to Novelli Strasse number three at one o'clock. Got that? Quick, go and tell Max. Yes, one o'clock. Not before. Or you won't find anything, understand? Walk in. The entrance. And on the left, you'll find some letter boxes. Look for the one with the name Wiener on it. It won't be locked. Open it. Didn't you find my note? Yes, I found it. And I went to the Alster Pavillon restaurant. You weren't there. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate. Now, why I have to justify every step I take. But all the same, I'm going to tell you exactly why you didn't find me at the Alster Pavillon. I arrived ahead of time, and Maria hadn't come. So I went to pick her up at her hotel. And then we changed our minds and had dinner sent up to her room. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Policeman? 
And who did the Porsche belong to? What? Who did the Porsche belong to? Oh, God, you're unbearable. Can't you ever stop grilling people? You haven't answered my question. Who did the Porsche belong to? I want the truth. To Irene Van Kloss. How about that? You know who Irene Van Kloss is, don't you? She's the president of the Italo-German Association, and she committed the crime of giving me a lift. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? I wish I could. You wish you could. Well, listen to me. You may spend your days bullying people, beating them up, making little girls cry, but you can't do it at home, you understand? I'm not a criminal, and I refuse to be treated like one. I've had enough. So what are you going to do? Leave me? What do you expect me to do? Keep paying all my life for one mistake? What mistake was that? Making friends with Reinhardt? I knew you'd drag that up again. That was a big crime, wasn't it? It was a big mistake. And it nearly sent you to jail. Jail? I am in jail. I can't go out. You don't want me to see anybody or do anything. All you want me to do is sit home and wait. Well, I'm too young to be buried alive, and you know it. You just can't believe I'm faithful, can you? Well, I'm going to teach you a lesson, Mr. Bulov. Now I'm really going to get myself a lover. <laughs> You touch me. Tulips mean anything to you, sir? Tulips? Hello, sir. Who is it? Secret here. They killed Miller. Hello? Hello, sir. Do you hear me? Yes, I heard. They've killed Muller. I get it. Clever boy. Today's Tuesday. You don't say. What does it mean? It means... It means that I'm free. I'm not singing tonight. <laughs> Thank God. Max. Don't be nasty. You know what I mean. That I can stay with you. Who says I want to stay with you? Don't you? Well, after all, it's not such a bad idea. Mm. That's too crowded here. Come on, let's have all some right. scotches. Good evening. Two scotches. Right away. Two scotches. Thank you. That watch right? Yes, sir. Always right to then the second. Then fast. Six marks, sir. What's happened? You lose something? Looks like this is up your street again. Same technique, eh, Doctor? The wounds look exactly like Zoll's, identical. And he had this, sir, in his hand. What is it? Cocaine? 
What do you think? Bicard of DeSoto. Send this down to the lab and get it checked. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, Bulov. A little bicarbonate of soda in a letterbox, eh? Well, it's quite a neat little trick. They took the girl, so he had to fetch it himself. Yeah, the idiot. He must have phoned someone. Yeah. Maybe Fritz. Don't you think it's time we did something about Fritz, Inspector? Yeah. Hey, Sigurd, uh, I want you to find out if somebody called Irene von Klaus has a red Porsche. Who? Irene von Klaus? Yes, Irene von Klaus. I want to know if she has a red Porsche. <laughs> Crazy. I've lost my my lucky dollar. You don't say. Is that the end of the world? Yes, for me it is. Well, I haven't got it. I had it this evening. I know I did. I was sitting here. Maybe you lost it somewhere else. So what? So I'm superstitious, okay? So what? That dollar brought me luck. Now it's gone. I'm scared. This last job was one too many. I told you so. I knew it. Nobody's luck holds out forever. My mind's gone now. I feel it. If I don't find that lucky dollar tonight, I'm getting out. I'm getting out so fast you won't see me. Are you finished? Now listen, boy, you're in it. Will you cram it into your head once and for all? Sherman couldn't care less about your lucky dollar. To hell with Sherman, and with you too. Morning, Inspector. Good morning, sir. Sigurd, did you find out about the Porsche? The Porsche? Yes, the Porsche. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. With all this business, I'll go and check it right away. Heinz? Yes, sir. Send someone up from the lab, will you? Right away. Come in. Morning, sir. Want some coffee? Thanks. Kruger. Do tulips mean anything to you? Tulips? Yeah. Yellow tulips. They mean anything to you? I don't know, sir. I really couldn't say. 
Why? You want to do something? Ah, uh, who knows? Check this for Prince and have it brought back to me personally, will you? Yes, sir. I want to see all the films shot in the waiting room over the past year. All of them? All of them. He's been here for hours. What this? Roundup assembly. March. Just a year ago. This is April. Coming up now. Get me the files on those, too. Have you finished, sir? Yes, thanks for the moment. Good morning, Bullough. Good morning, sir. You look worried. Matter of fact, I was coming to see you. So we've had another killing. Yep. Someone I was looking for, as usual. What? I never even knew Muller existed till yesterday. I started looking for him. In a matter of hours, he got stabbed. Did you let the girl go? No. She's still here. That's what worries me. How many people know about this? Very few. Let's go into your office. Excuse me, I brought those files you asked for. Oh, thank you. Who are they? Eric Schurer. He's just a lead. It's his friend I'm after. Max Lint. Mind you, it's only a hunch no more. This time I'm going to handle it myself. Max Lint, the one from Marseille. No police record? No. He was caught in a roundup a few months ago by mistake. Or oh, so he had me believe. But I remember him because of a funny trick he had of playing with something in his hand all the time, like this. He's very nervous, too. You haven't told me why you're after him. Well, I told you, sir. It's, uh, it's only a hunch. For the moment, I'd rather not tell you any more. Not even to me? Not even to you, sir. If you don't mind. All right. But don't keep it to yourself too long. Two or three days. No more. That's a deal. Hello? Is Max Lint there, please? Max Lint, you say? No, I haven't seen him for hmm, at least since last April. I see. Thank you. Eric Schurer, care of Super Fun Fair. <laughs> Shoot, can't you? How much? One mark. Here. Yeah. 
keep the change. Huh? Do you know Eric Schroeder? No. Why? Where is he? What do you want? You've got quite a guilty conscience, haven't you? Well? I'm looking for Max Lint. Never heard of him. Don't start there or I'll slap you straight into jail. What for? Corrupting a juvenile. But That'll I... do for a start. But I don't know anything. <laughs> you know Max Lint, and you know where he lives. And you better tell me or I'll make you wish you had. Don't touch me! Don't touch me or I'll tell it to the newspapers. Tell anyone you like. you call anybody, understand? Good morning. Looking for somebody? Yes. Max Lind. Max Lind? He's not here. <laughs> that way, sir. First floor, room five. And don't tell him I'm coming. Oh, no, sir. Get dressed and come with me. It's yours. You left it under Muller's dead body. Now give it back. Pick it up and give it to me. And don't try that again. Silver dollar with a bullet in it. What happened? Save your life? Brought me luck a few times. Well, this time it'll send you to jail for about 200 years. What for? Muller, Kaufmann, Reinhardt, Zoll. For very efficient murders. But I thought you were Wulof, the narcotic squad man. What's murder got to do with you? Depends on the murder and the murderer. Take this for a start. Hashish. And the man who pays the murderer, in this case, Schurman. Let's go. You know, Bulov, I'm not one who likes to be caught.
without you. I can't. Who did the Porsche belong to? I really want Klaus. I want the truth. I don't know. You've never heard of Schur? Never, I swear. You expect me to believe that? I'm telling the truth. Why didn't you ask the phone? I suppose I was asleep. Asleep? With the phone ringing in your ear? Don't you believe me? I wish I could. You wish you could? Well, listen to me. I'm not a criminal and I refuse to be treated like one. I'm too young to be buried alive and you know it. Now I'm really going to get myself a lover. Where have you been? The Ulster Pavillon. You weren't there. We changed our minds. Who were you with? A school friend of mine, Maria. Don't you believe me? No, you're lying. Who does the Porsche belong to? I really want to It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Hey, what's wrong? What's the idea? I want you to uh, do something for me. You've done this before. Good morning, Inspector. Good morning. Ulof just arrived. Bad mood. Come in. I've been trying to find you about that information you asked me for. Yeah? Irene von Klaus does have a red Porsche. You sure? Yes. I checked it myself. Irene von Klaus lives at 12 Hannenstrasse. The Porsche was parked right outside. I've got a call on the line for you, sir. Who is it? He wouldn't say. All right, I'll take it. Here, sir. Yeah. I found out something. It's, uh... But you might not like it much. Well, what is it? Well, you know the tulips, huh? <laughs> Come on, out with it. Come here and I'll tell you more. Look, I've got something to attend to, but I'll see you later. Lisa! Yes, what's the matter? Nothing. I'm just pleased to see you, that's all. Lisa, I love you. You realize that? Then why do you make my life hell? Checking on me, spying on me, cross-questioning me all of the time. Then why do you tell me lies? I don't. You imagine it. I'm sorry about the Porsche. Really sorry. I don't know why I was so sure it was a lie. You mean you checked? I'm sorry. I, I had to. I had to know. Well, now you know, don't you? I'm not such a liar after all. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Lint. Oh, it's you, Inspector. But Mr. Lint's already gone away. Gone? Are you sure? Sure. Where? I couldn't say. He didn't leave any address. Thank you. Not at all. Hello? Hello, Lisa. Franz, what is it? Now listen. Do you remember what I told you? You won't go out, will you? 
Promise? Well, all right. I promise. And don't open the door to anyone. All right, I won't. All right. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to talk to you about insurance. Oh, really? Yes, I'm an insurance man. Don't I look like one? No. Or maybe yes, who knows? Come in. We'll talk it over. Tell you the truth, I always thought that insurance men were rather plump and bald and wore glasses. Please, sit down. Thank you. Now, tell me all about it. As a potential customer, I find your behavior very rash. Rash. Very. You open your front door to a complete stranger, invite him in, even turn your back on him. Did it never enter your mind that I might be a thief? Or maybe even a murderer? Maybe. Good day, Inspector. Can I help you, sir? Yeah. Where are the boys from this door? Where are they? Gone? Gone. Down where? They just cleared out. Thanks. Let's talk about something more serious. Insurance? No. Tell me who you really are. I'm not an insurance man. Oh, no. Well, then I guess I'm just a character who saw you in the street who thought how nice it would be to insure you. You've got quite a nerve, haven't you? Yes. But we understand each other, don't we? Would you like a drink? Why not? Nobody at all. You understood? All right, I understood you. Yes. Goodbye. All right. Let's talk about insurance. For the rabbit? Yeah. Uh, I guess you ain't heard the news. It's, uh, he got run over by, by a car. Run over? But I talked to him only a couple of hours ago. Mm -hmm. Is he in hospital? No, he's dead.
What are you doing here? Need you ask? I want to talk to you. Is that your car? We'll get in and drive on ahead to the factory. Congratulations on your wife, some woman. You've seen her? I met her yesterday. I don't lose time, you know. What do you mean you met her? She didn't go out yesterday. I went to see her. She let you in? I'll say. What does that mean? Come on, Inspector. You surely know what kind of wife you've got, if you want her dead. Explain yourself. Very well. So here we have a young lady all alone in the house and maybe just a wee bit bored. Who opens her front door and finds herself faced with a handsome, charming, fairly amusing young fellow who's got quite a way with women. What would you say she does? Slam the door in his face? Some women would do just that, I dare say. But not your wife, believe me. She invites me in, gives me a drink, makes me sit down on a nice soft couch. And when her husband calls, she says there's no one there. Is that what she did? Do you have to ask? It was you who phoned, wasn't it? You heard what she said. And then? Inspector, I'm a gentleman. You wouldn't want me to tell you anymore. I told you what to do. Now do it. Hello, can I give you a lift? No, thank you. I never take lifts from strange men. Good girl. I see you being more careful than yesterday. Oh, by the way, I've lost my cigarette lighter. Maybe I left it at your place. No, I don't think so. We didn't smoke, remember? Where else can I have left it, then? Maybe underneath my couch? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be smart, hmm? It's no good beating about the bush with you, is it? No. That goes for me, too. Get in, we go for a little ride. <laughs> Where are you going to take me? Surprise. For an insurance man, you're not behaving too well. And how do you think you're behaving, madame? Disgracefully. Do you intend to keep it up? Then I warn you, my behavior is getting worse and worse from now on. Do you mean to tell me you have no morals? None whatever. I'm a rat. And I'm a cat.
Hans Schmidt? Sounds like a false name. <laughs> it is. I can't call you Hans anyway. It rhymes with Franz. Call me Max. That better? Yes, Max. It's late. I must go. Why? I've got a husband, remember? Who cares? No, really, I must go. Don't go. No, really, I must. No. Oh, what are you doing? Now, don't be silly. Let me get dressed. Please, really, I've got to go. Those red tulips, too. Well, you take your time, then. All the time you want. All right. Just give me two dozen of the yellow All tulips. Right. <coughs> Hello? Yes, Harry, I know. Tulips mean anything to you, sir? Tulips? Mrs. Bulov. Thanks, fine. That's nice. <laughs> ah! From now on, keep away from her. Understand? Why? Because it won't be healthy if you keep on making love to Mrs. Bulov. Get me? You know what? It's none of your damn business. Well, now. He still doesn't understand yet. Boys? Now do you get the message? Keep away from Mrs. Bulov. Come on. Now be a good boy, eh? See me, sir? Oh, Bulov. You lock yourself in now, huh? Yes, well, uh, when I want a chance to think. To think? Yeah. I have to write a long report tonight. About the Sherman case? Yeah. Well, what is it? I need to think about it first. I'll let you know in the morning. Very well. Tomorrow morning. Full of. Without fail. Hmm? Tomorrow.
Yeah. It's Max. Tomorrow, then. We'll make it tomorrow, okay? Did you hear? Hey, it's me. Yes, I heard. But afterwards, I want to see you. You've got to give me back the lucky dollar. Let's say, at 11, at the same place. All right. You really want to marry me? In spite of everything? I love you. And I believe you. Those people have got nothing to do with you. Customers with no manners. Selling insurance again. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to sell some yarn to me. They were pretty persuasive, as a matter of fact. They very nearly had me sold. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Have you been here all night? Yeah. I, uh... I had a lot to do. Listen, Seeker. I got an appointment this morning. It's a personal matter. If I'm not back by midday, I want you to give that envelope to ask tomorrow. To my regards. But I don't understand, sir. You will. See you later. Sure. Give me some of that cigarette. This is special. I know. Crazy to bring me here again. You're crazy to have come. I like danger. I must go now. Max, don't go. 
I must. Today it's me that's got to hurry away. I have to see someone. Won't take me long, though. Wait for me. Max, now don't be long. Half an hour, not more. I'll be right back. Put up your hands and don't move. I always drop the knife by the body. You ought to know that by now. What knife and what body? We had an agreement, didn't we? Which you didn't keep. If you'd been going to kill her, you'd have done it two days ago, not now. Not even you could do it now. What do you mean? I mean, I know my wife. It took her two days to get into your blood, just like she got into mine. I've been watching you, Max, and I know what I'm talking about. You're under arrest. You can't do that. You know what'll happen. Yes, I know. And I'm perfectly happy to pay what it costs. That's something you wouldn't understand. Get in. We all have to pay in the end, you know. Everybody has to pay for what they do. Speak for yourself! <laughs> a full report of the Harry Sherman case, which I think you will find is all you need, but before reading it, kindly do the following. Lisa? Lisa! Follow 
for me. What are you doing here? I had to see you. Why? But, Harry, I don't understand. Stop acting, my dear. I know you too well. And don't pretend you love me. Max. I don't know what you mean. No? Max Lint here was a professional killer. And what's more, he happened to work for me. I'll tell you something else you didn't know. It was Bullock who sent Max to see you. was an outstanding man, Mrs. Bullock, to the end. Someone let a tear fall down, what makes the angels cry? It must be
It must be. 